Skylar and I just got off work and today we're heading to the Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. We've been to Boyd Hill a couple of times before, but never in the summer, and it's over 90 degrees out today, so we'll see how it goes. Boyd Hill is a 245-acre nature preserve in the middle of St. Petersburg, Florida. Boyd Hill is currently free to access and typically opens at 9 a.m., except on Saturdays when it opens at 7 a.m. Two really important things to know is that it is closed on Mondays and this park does not allow any pets. So usually the entrance to the trail is through this center here, but it's been closed since COVID. The trails are still open. They have signs that tell you how to get to the trail. From March 1st to October 31st, it closes at 7 p.m. And from November 1st to February 29th, it closes at 6 p.m. So currently this is how you access the trails at Boyd Hill. The entrance to the trails goes right past the playground area. The sign at the entrance to Boyd Hill indicates that it's open until 7, but this sign here does note that the trails close at 6.30. One of the first things we typically like to do when we get to Boyd Hill is check out the aviary. Most of the birds that they house here have either an eye or a wing injury, so they have found a new home here at Boyd Hill. I have to admit, the horned owl is our favorite. Skylar has always loved owls. So that's the wingspan of a bald eagle, right? Yep. Pretty big. Almost. Here's these two in the sun. That turkey vulture has a really long wingspan too. There is also a butterfly garden next to the aviary, but we did not see any butterflies today. So as far as recommendations go on what to bring when hiking out here at Boyd Hill, I would definitely recommend bringing some ice cold water, a good pair of hiking shoes, and probably some bug spray. Even though the bugs mm -hmm. haven't been a problem for us today, they definitely could become one as we get closer to the sunset. So you can go right on this trail and go to the Swamp Woodlands Boardwalk. There's actually two boardwalks along this trail. We're gonna keep going and go to the Willow Marsh Boardwalk. So in our footage today, we're going to be hiking the main trail to the Lakeside Trail. And typically those are the trails we like to take when we do visit. They go along the lake and we usually get to see a lot of wildlife. So that's what we like to stick to. It's just so pretty along these trails. Yeah, there's several other trails here at the park that um, we probably only hiked on half of them maybe. But yeah, we just really love this lakeside trail. So it's hard to hike on any of the other ones <laughs> when we come out here. But if you do want to see tortoises, then you definitely should check out the trails that are a little bit farther from the lake. We know a lot of the tortoises like to hang out over there. Sometimes on this boardwalk, you're able to spot a gator. We'll let you know if we see any today. From this boardwalk, you can also see downtown St. Petersburg. So you can tell we're not that far away from downtown. Today it looks like the Willow Marsh Loop is closed. When we were here earlier in the year though, part of this was open. But we won't get to go down it today. So yeah, I really don't have any complaints about this place other than maybe the hours. What do you think? Yeah, I would agree because during the week it's open from 9 a.m. and then the trails close at 6.30 p.m. So you don't really have much of an opportunity to stay away from the heat. So I think we wish it opened a little bit earlier and maybe stayed open a little bit later in the summertime. Yeah, in the winter months that shouldn't be a problem at all. Right. The main trail at Boyd Hill is just over three miles with several additional trails to explore as well. Just don't do it. If you do go on the island, you might be able to see some baby alligators at times, 
When we were here in March and April, we saw baby alligators every time that we visited here. Not sure if we'll be able to see any today. They're probably grown quite a bit since then. Wow, I do want to comment on how green this is. This is a body of water and it is completely covered in green. When we were here earlier in the year, there was definitely some green coverage, but you could definitely see a majority of the water. It was also much easier to see the alligators then. But it is really pretty. If you are interested in learning more about Boyd Hill, or connecting with others who love Boyd Hill, consider joining the Facebook group We Love Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. We will include a link to the group in the description below, along with a link to the Boyd Hill website as well. Now when we had seen the baby alligators, we would see them kind of in this area. The water looks a little bit higher today. And also down by a bench. I'll show you where that is too. The baby alligators also seem to hang out in front of this bench right here. Oh my gosh, I almost missed this guy. It's a baby alligator. He's a little bit bigger than what I remember. I'm not gonna get too close though. So one of the things we love most about this place is how close to downtown it is. We both work from home in downtown St. Pete and within about a 10 minute ride in the car, we can be here in the parking lot and within another five minutes or so, we can be out on the trail. And it's just a great opportunity, uh, easy way to get out here and get some exercise, feel like you're out in nature, even though you're just minutes from downtown St. Pete. There is a nice rest stop along the trail with benches and a great view of downtown St. Petersburg. It really is quite amazing that this preserve is so close to the downtown. We love it. If you are interested in more videos exploring the St. Petersburg area, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. The live oak path is full of mossy oaks and they are beautiful. It's one of my favorite paths on the trail. It's really incredible that this preserve exists so close to downtown and we didn't even know it existed until COVID happened. You know, everything closed down. Even the beaches. <laughs> Even the beaches. So we had to figure out other ways to stay active. We do want to talk a little bit about the differences visiting in the summertime versus in the springtime. Previously, we visited in March and April. And the biggest difference is lack of seeing animals. Today, we are not seeing too many. When we visited in the springtime, we had seen several alligators, a raccoon, an otter, turtles. What else? Uh, a mink-like thing. Not exactly sure what it was. <laughs> and a lot of birds. So a lot of activity during prior visits, but likely due to the heat today, we didn't see too much. Just one baby alligator and one snake. One other big difference about coming out here in the summer versus the spring when we had previously been here, um, besides the heat, is how green everything is. It is summer here in Florida. It rains almost daily and you can really tell with how green everything around us is. Yeah, it's really pretty. If you are planning a visit in the summer though, you will want to pay attention to the amount of rain the area has received. It's been dry the last couple of days here, so the paths have been pretty dry for us, but we can see areas where if it rains heavy, like a typical Florida storm, it could get a little muddy out here. Like I mentioned earlier, we were a little concerned about the heat today. It's your typical Florida summer day today, about 90 degrees, humid, could storm at any second, but overall it was pretty comfortable out here. It's definitely warm, 
but there's a good breeze blowing there's lots of shade here out on the trails and it's definitely a lot cooler than it would be at the pier right now which is where we've been doing the majority of our filming lately if you're also interested in checking out the pier we'll make sure to put links to those videos in the description below too we made it as far as time will allow us to today we hiked about a mile and a quarter and it's about six o'clock now and since the trails close at 6:30, it's time to start hiking back Thanks so much for coming along with us today on the trails at Boyd Hill. If you are in the St. Petersburg area, we hope you get to check this area out sometime.